Thank you, first of all, for inviting me uh, to speak to all of you. Um, I was told uh, by the organizer that I'm supposed to just chit chat in front of, in front about uh, my career, how I first started, and, and a little bit about the Islamic finance industry and the, the banking industry in general. And I think there was a specific question, or well, I don't know whether it was given by the organizer or whether it was given by my own PA, saying that um, the question is how exactly did I manage to become CEO of a bank in Malaysia uh, at a young age? Um, and so I will try as much as possible to give you a little bit of the background as to how I got to this position um, and the things that, uh, the lesson learned uh, along the way uh, that I have gone through. As far as the Islamic finance industry is concerned, my aspiration to be part of that Islamic finance industry started when I was 11 years old, uh, at the beginning of um, the industry uh, sometime. Uh, in 19, early 80s lah. Yeah. Though I did not know a lot of things at that time I felt Islamic finance was kind of cool And kind of interesting um, Because it was very very different um, From what is in the market Or what was in the market at that time So at the age of 11 I started grilling my sister Who, who was in college at that time Grilling my father um, what is Islamic banking? What is Islamic finance? Not loud enough. Okay. Um, and I, as I grill them, um, they become very, very exasperated because they can't answer me because nobody knows what Islamic finance was all about at that time. Um, so they said, go ahead and, and, and find out about it yourself. So at the age of 11, I started to read about this thing called Islamic finance and searching and searching in every source possible uh, to understand about it. And then of course at that time, nothing much I can source because it was the beginning and, and nobody has in fact written anything about it. Right? Um, there was only Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad and they are the one that says this is Islamic banking what we say what we do is Islamic banking and but that did not stop me I continue to simply uh, read anything that I can find and then as I grew up uh, go to school uh, it just went to the back of my mind. Right? By the time I reached college, period, I was asked again by myself, what exactly do I want to do um, before I go to university? What exactly do I want to do after I finish my university? And the answer that I gave myself is I should get myself involved in this thing called Islamic finance that really intrigued me when I was 11 years old. I still remember the excitement uh, that I felt at 11 years old and, and I thought I might as well just go ahead and do it. So when I chit chat again with my friends and, 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 and my family and they said, no, it's not an industry that you should go in because it's new, uh, you may not have a good career opportunity there. Um, uh, there's so much uncertainty. There's a lot other things that you can do and be very good at and, and be great about it. But after thinking about it, I decided I will do some finance. Uh, I will take the risk and I will make sure that I get something out of it. So I decided 
to do Islamic finance, but then I got stuck. What course should I do in order to be able to be competent and have the necessary skill sets to do Islamic banking or finance? There was no course on Islamic banking at that time. Um, really, there was nothing. And there was no one there to even guide me on how to go about doing that. So I explored, okay, since it's finance, it's banking, I might as well just do a banking course. Or because it involves economy and things like that, I could do economy uh, as, a, as a degree. But then someone just came up to me and said, why don't you consider law? Because some of the greatest bankers in the world at that point of time, and even until now, are lawyers. They were never having a banking degree. They never had a finance degree. Most of them, Tun Da'im was a lawyer. Right. Many people who are in the banking industry and CEOs, if you look at it statistically, are law graduates. Right. So that put me to think that I should be doing law. And I, as I thought further, finance, 70% of financial transaction is effectively legal work. Everything else is finance. 70% is legal work. And then more so, when it comes to Islamic finance, it involves Sharia, and Sharia is law. So if I understand law, therefore I should be able to understand how Sharia works. May not be completely, because Sharia works slightly slightly differently, but it allows some basic understanding and appreciation. Therefore, I can probably do good or do well uh, in the industry. So I decided to do law in University of Leeds. Um, and after graduation, there was only one bank that I applied to, uh, and that was Bank Islam. Lab One Limited, which is a subsidiary of Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad, uh, based in offshore Lab One. And when I was interviewed for the bank, uh, I was interviewed by the board of directors. And so there's five of them interviewing me, and this young punk. I, I went into the room and sat down for the interview and had a ch good chit chat. It was a it was about two hour interview. A fresh graduate, so it was very surprising that I had two hour uh, interview with the board of a bank. And at the end of it, I still remember. I think I still cringe every time I I I, I recall that particular statement that I made. They asked me whether or not I would be prepared uh, to be transferred uh, elsewhere uh, other than Lab 1 offshore uh, or put in another department and things like that. And I told them straightforward without any um, politically correct uh, behaviour in terms of body language or um, tone, I said if you transfer me outside of Bank Islam Lab 1, I will resign. If you transfer me anywhere else in terms of the department, I will resign. I will give Bank Islam Lab 1 Limited three years. In three years' time, I will evaluate whether or not I want to stay with the bank. Um, and after I made that statement, of course, internally I just cringe. I think it was a stupid idiot for saying that. Um, but the board took it uh, quite well. They took it positively because I was forthright. Um, 